Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do ratios with different units. So when you have ratios that you are supposed to simplify but they have different units, what you do, you start with making them have the same units before you can simplify them. So here I have an example, we want to use this example to explain this concept. Our example says John walks 2 kilometers to school and Tabang walks 800 meters. Express the ratio of John's distance to Tabang's distance as a ratio in its simplest form. So it means you must write it as a ratio and then simplify it. Right? Now, when you write a ratio, the person that they wrote first, you write their number first. And the person that they wrote second, you write the, their number second. Here they say express the ratio of John's distance to Tabang's distance. So it means we're going to write John's distance first. And then Tabang distance next. So John's distance is 2 kilometers is 2. Tabang's is 800 meters. Now when you look at these units, these ones are kilometers and these ones are meters. So they are not in the same unit. You have kilometers and meters. Your first thing is to write them in the same unit. So we need to convert these ones, convert them to be meters. So we have a video in our channel uh, that shows you how you convert. But I'm going to do that quickly here again. You have kilometer, you have meter, you have centimeter, and then millimeter. When you convert from kilo to meter, it's 1,000. From meter to centi, it's 100. And from centi, it's 10. So here I have 2 kilometers, and I'm converting it to meters so you see i'm from kilo to meter so i'm gonna have two i'm gonna multiply by 1000 because from there to there it's 1000 and i'm starting from a bigger one to a smaller one so i'm gonna multiply if i was having meters to kilometers i'll divide by a thousand so two kilometers is the same as two thousand meters then we write that back to the ratio so it's 2,000 meters is to 800 meters. Now we have the same ratio. Now we must find the highest common factor. You must find a, a number that will divide fully on this one and divide fully on that one. And also you need to divide the units as well. That's why you need to have the same units. So that number is 400. 400 meters divide 400 meters. So we're going to divide both of them. 400 divided by this one. The meters will cancel, that will cancel, that will cancel. And then 20 divided by 4. That's 5 is 2. That will cancel, that will cancel. 8 divided by 4. That's 2. So now the ratio that we got is 5 is to 2. So how does that answer our question? They say find their express the ratio of John's distance to Tabang's distance. So John's distance is 5 is to 2 to Tabang's distance. So and it's in its simplest form. So you can see that you, there's no factor that you can get in, in, into both of them. Okay, let's say now you divide, maybe you're not with a 400, you divide with a number. When you get your answer here, you can see that it's still, you can still factorize. There's still a factor that goes in. It's not a problem. Factorize again until you get where you can factorize. Then that will be your final answer. So this is how you simplify ratios with different units. Make sure that the units are the same first, then find their highest common fact. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.